This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how you can design channel art for your YouTube channels using GIMP. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this template here. This is a template that's provided to us by YouTube, and it, and it lays out uh, the size and position where everything needs to be as far as your design elements go. And if you notice here on the template, it takes everything into consideration as far as devices go. It shows you uh, how it would look. Uh, on a TV. So for example, on a TV, 2560 by 1440 pixels is what's going to show, which is the entire document right here. Uh, on a desktop, it shows this entire strip here in the middle. On a tablet, it shows this outer area right here. And what you need to pay attention to more than anything else is in the center right here, because this is for mobile devices. Therefore, anything you put inside of here is going to be divisible. It's going to be visible across all devices. So whenever you're designing your channel art, you want to make sure that whatever important information that you'd like every viewer to see, whether it be contact information, a call to action, or you know some kind of graphic, your social media uh, handles or whatever, you want to make sure it's within this area right here. And then the rest of your design extends beyond this box to the edges of this document here so that it works across all devices. So I'm going to show you how to set up this template here and uh, how to actually go about creating a design that fits within these parameters. So I'm going to open up a new document here. I'll go to File, New. And I want the size to be the entire size of this document, which is 2560 by 1440, as you can see there. I'm going to click on Advanced Options. I'm just going to make sure the fill width is set to Transparency. Go ahead and click OK. And I'm going to hold Control and roll down the mouse wheel a few times to zoom out so we can see the entire canvas there. And as you can see here, we have uh, our checkerboard, which means it's completely transparent. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer and add it to this. But the size of the layer is going to be the size of this box right here in the middle where uh, the uh, contents have to go, which is 1546 by 423. So I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to cl click this button to create uh, a new layer. 1546 by 423. And instead of filling with transparency, I'm going to fill this with the foreground color and go ahead and click OK. And if you notice there, let me just make sure I got that 1546 by 4. OK, uh, I just want to double check that. If you notice here, we have our layer. It's filled in with this color. What I want to do now is grab the alignment tool and I want to set the relative to. I want to set that to the image and then click on that layer to activate it. And then I'm going to center this up on the uh, center. I'm going to center it on the horizontal and vertical axis like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click this layer and go to alpha to selection. And then I'm going to delete that layer. And what I'll do now is I'll go to image, guides, new guides from selection. And what that's going to do is it's going to put these blue guidelines at the points where this important information is contained. And one thing I forgot to mention about this area right here is that this is also going to be viewed on smartphones. So whatever you put in here, you want to make sure that uh, the text is pretty big. If you keep your text small, like the size of these numbers right here, try to imagine this rectangle box on like a smaller phone, like an iPhone 5 or something like that. It's going to be nearly invisible. And I've had this problem myself. I've created channel art where the text was nearly, you, you couldn't even read it because it was so small using a device. So when you're designing this, you want to make sure that whatever you put in this box is pretty big. Try to imagine, try to envision this box being on the screen of a smartphone when you're uh, designing for it. So what I'll do now is I'll go to select um, none to get rid of that selection. And I'm just going to drop in my background image here. I have, this is a, a background image that I downloaded. Uh, I'll put a link to this in the description if you'd like to use it as well. I'm just going to click and drag it into GIMP and it's going to paste it as a new layer. Let me zoom out a little bit. And if you notice here, this yellow dotted box, that's the entire image. So I'm going to have to scale that down a little bit. I'm going to use the, um, the unified transform tool for this. So I'm going to click on that. I like to use the keyboard shortcut, which is shift T. And I'm going to hold control and shift and grab this outer box right here and just click and drag to scale that down and fit that. So it's just a little bit bigger than the boundaries of the canvas there. We don't want it to be smaller because if it's smaller, then there's going to be a little bit of transparency sticking out of the edges of the final design, which we don't want. So just like that is good. I'm going to hit transform to apply that. 
And if you notice here, uh, we have our background design and within this blue box right here is we want where we're where we want to put our contact information. So I'm just going to add a little bit of a more, uh, I'm going to add a little more of a, uh, a design element to this. I'm going to create a new layer. Uh, this one I'm going to fill with white. Click OK. I'll bring the opacity of that down a little bit. And then I'll take the, um, the paths tool and I'll click to create a point right here. And I'll create another point up here and come over here and create another point. One down here, and then back to the starting point. And to connect it back together, I'm going to hold Control and click on the original points like that. And now I just want to take this line right here, this node. I just want to make sure that these two lines right here, you notice that this one going down and this one also going down, I want to make sure that they're somewhat par uh, parallel. So that's about good enough right there. I'm going to click Enter to create a selection from that. And then I'm going to press Delete on the keyboard, and that's going to punch out that area right there. And now I'm going to go to Select. None. Let me click onto the move tool or any other tool just to get rid of those uh, those paths. And as you can see there, we just added a little bit of a design element on there. That'll help the text that I'm about to add stand out from the design a little bit. So I'm going to grab the text tool, click on the canvas right here to add some text. And if you notice here, I'm using the font that's called Montserrat Ultra. I'm um, using the size of 115. You could use whatever font, whatever size you'd like. I'd like I said, I'd recommend a really big font. So let me uh, write um, channel art in the next line, design. And I'm going to change the color of that to something that matches the design better, maybe like a darker gray, something like that, maybe a little lighter. Maybe a little lighter than that. And that's pretty good. So I'm going to go to the, to the Move tool now. I'm, I'm just going to position this right here within this blue box. Just like that. And let me click on the background layer to get rid of that boundary there. And as you can see, that's a very basic um, channel art design, but it will work. This channel art will be consistent across all devices. It'll look fine on a TV because you'll get to see all of this area right here. And it'll look fine on a mobile device because you'll get to see this area inside these blue lines right here. And the text here is big enough so that it won't shrink down to the point where it isn't legible on a small device like a smartphone. So that's how you can go about creating uh, channel art for YouTube using GIMP. Like I mentioned, I'm going to take this template here. I'm going to save this as a GIMP template and I'm going to put a link to it in the description if you'd like to download just a blank template like this with the guidelines on it and everything. I'm going to delete. Uh, I'm going to get rid of all of this info here and I'm going to take this file. I'm going to save it as a YouTube channel art GIMP template. And if, you do, if you'd like to just download and work from this directly without having to set it up like you saw me do here, uh, go right ahead. So that's how you can do that with GIMP. If you haven't done so already, please consider joining the Logos by Nick mailing list in order to receive email alerts whenever a new tutorial is posted. Your information won't be sold to or shared with anyone else, and you will never receive any kind of spam or promotional offers from me in your inbox. In fact, the only time you'll ever receive an email from me is when new tutorials are posted, and you'll get to watch them on the Logos by Nick website without any third-party ads. You'll also get to watch some exclusive tutorials that I don't upload here to YouTube. So go ahead and check the link in the description if you're interested in that. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.